Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see the recruitment news from BEL Bangalore, that is Bharat Electronics Limited Bangalore. So there is a recruitment happening for project engineers and project officers and also for trainee engineers and trainee officers. So nowadays, all these branches of BEL are recruiting the project engineers and trainee engineers. So if you are interested in working with BEL, please do regularly check the sites of BEL. Okay, you'll get a no lot of notifications for these type of recruitments happening that is project engineers trainee engineers all these notifications are coming nowadays okay so today in this video we are going to see the recruitment from bel bangalore for project engineer project officer trainee engineer and trainee officer we'll be seeing all the details the qualification details age details salary selection process application procedure everything we'll be seeing in this video so first we are going to see the post details there are four categories or four posts for which uh, the recruitment is happening first one is project engineer one then project officer for hr category then trainee engineer one and trainee officer finance okay so these are the various categories of recruitments happening and this recruitment or this job is uh, for a period and it is not a permanent job that is for the project engineer and project officer the period of job is for four years that is it is for four years and the trainee engineer and trainee officer the duration of your job will be for three years okay so that is the first thing i want to tell you because a lot of comments i get regarding the uh, whether the per job is permanent or not so this is for four years that is a project engineer and project officer recruitment is happening and it is for a duration of four years and Trainee engineer 1 and trainee officer is for 3 years. Okay. Next, we are going to see the qualification details. Okay. First, before seeing the qualification, I am going to tell you that which all branches are eligible to apply. Okay. First one, project engineer 1. The branches they are calling is the branch and the vacancy details are given in the notification. Okay. So, for project engineer 1, for electronics branch, there is 80 vacancy. Then, for mechanical branch, there is 24 vacancies. For computer science, 6 vacancy, electrical, 6 vacancy, civil, 2 vacancy. Totally 118 vacancies is there for project engineer 1 category. Okay, so this is a big recruitment. A lot of openings is there. Okay, not just 2 or 3, but it is a big op opening or a recruitment. Okay, next is project officer HR. There is 5 vacancies. Okay, 5 vacancies is there for project officer HR. Next, trainee engineer 1, the branches they are calling in the vacancy details is electronics branch for trainee engineer is having 254 vacancies. Okay, lot of openings is there. And for mechanical branch, there is 137 openings. Computer science, 11 vacancies. Electrical and electronics, 10 vacancy. Civil, 2. Environmental engineering, 1. Architecture, 1. Chemical, one okay so totally there is 418 vacancies okay so for a trainee engineer category there is 418 vacancies is there and for trainee officer finance this is for finance category there is eight openings okay so these are the branch details and the vacancy details next let us see the qualification details okay for project engineer one the qualification is BE or BTEC or BSc first class for the respective branches. This if the recruitment is happening for electronics branch, then you should have a BE or BTEC or BSc in the electronics. Likewise, okay. But you should be having a first class also. That is for the general category. But if you belong to SAST or uh, some uh, reserved categories, then you only require a pass mark, okay. That is for general you require first class and for SCST and the reserved categories you only require a pass mark. And plus for the project engineer one you require two years experience also. Okay, So for project engineer one the qualification is B or BTEC or BSc with first class plus two years of experience. Age limit is 28 years. Okay. Next one is project officer HR. The qualification they are saying is MBA or MSW or PG plus 2 years of experience and the age limit is 28 years. Next is trainee engineer 1. The qualification is 
बी ई और बी टेक और बी एस सी प्लस सिक्स मंथ्स एक्सपीरियंस ओनली सिक्स मंथ्स एक्सपीरियंस दे आर आस्किंग फॉर द ट्रेनी इंजीनियर कैटेगरी एंड ऑल्सो देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ ऑपनिंग्स ओके सो इफ यू हैव एटलीस्ट सिक्स मंथ्स एक्सपीरियंस प्लीज टू अप्लाई फॉर इट एंड नो दैट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल विल बी हैविंग दिस एक्सपीरियंस सो देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ ऑपनिंग्स फॉर ऑल द कैटेगरीज एज लिमिट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ओके फॉर ट्रेनी इंजीनियर वन बी और बी टेक और बी एस सी प्लस सिक्स मंथ्स एक्सपीरियंस एंड द एज लिमिट इज ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स नेक्स्ट फॉर ट्रेनी ऑफिसर फिनेंस The qualification is MBA or equivalent plus six months experience, and the age limit is again twenty five years. Okay, so that is all about the qualification and the age details. Next, let us see the salary details. So as I have told you that the project engineer and project officer recruitment is happening for a duration or a period of four years, and trainee engineer and trainee officer post will be for three years. It can be extended or not will be depending on the organization's decision. Okay, now the salary they are saying. for various years is first one for project engineer and project officer during the first year the salary given will be 35000 per month second year salary will be 40000 per month third year the salary will be 45000 per month and for fourth year salary will be 50000 per month so the salary is a very good or decent salary and also there is duration of four years also so if you are eligible then it is a good opening for you okay then next for trainee engineer and trainee officer the salary for the first year is 25000 for second year the salary will be 28000 third year the salary will be 31000 okay so that is all about the salary details next let us see the selection process okay so for selection there is no exam but there will be interview and based on the interview you will be getting selected okay so what all things will be happening i'll tell you so there will be initial short listing and after the short listing from all the applications which are coming some people will be selected or short listed and they will be called for interview okay and the weightage given for selection is like this for your degree mark that is uh, if you are having b or btech or bsc for that particular uh, degree your mark will be taken and it is given 75 percentage of weightage for selection next your experience is given 10 percentage of weightage for selection and the mark you are getting in interview it is given 15 percentage of percentage for that is 15 percentage weightage it is given for the selection process and the people uh, will be called for the interview in a 1 is to 5 ratio that is vacancy into 5 times multiple will be called that much of people will be called for the interview and after that interview only you will get the job If you are getting shortlisted after the interview, that is the that is the last stage. Only if you are getting shortlisted, you will get the job. Okay, so uh, that is the selection process. And after the shortlisting, if you are being called for interview, that is if you are getting selected for the stage of interview, you will get a mail from the respective organization. Okay, so that's all about the selection process. Next, let us see the application procedure. Okay, so the application procedure is very simple. in the notification or in their site they can you can see the notification and below that there is a link for applying you have to just click on that link and you have to enter all your details and before uh, entering your details or before applying online you should be ready with all your necessary certificates scanned copy okay that is your photo your signature all your certificates your degree certificate your experience certificate slc uh, if you have if you are working with some organization you should require a no objection noc certificate all these things you should be you should be having as a scanned copy okay because at the time of applying you will have to upload these documents okay so that's why you have to make these documents in a scanned form as ready okay and there is also fees for applying for the trainee engineer and trainee officer post the fees is 200 rupees and for project engineer and project officer the fees is 500 rupees okay so that's all about the fees detail and the last date is 25th of november okay so this is a selection process and application procedure of bel bangalore for this category of recruitments so if you are interested in uh, applying if you have at least 6 months experience you are eligible okay there is also a lot of openings not just two or three vacancies there is a lot of openings so if you think that you are eligible please do have a look on the notification as detail 
and if you think that you are eligible please do apply for it as soon as possible the last date is 25th of november but don't wait till that okay please do apply for it as soon as possible if you found the video useful please do give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching